Good, good defensive work by Brian Lowe and you. Black and yellow, that's Benito Copa. And the black shorts, that's Ryan Low and You. Good action there by Low and You. He makes Copa hold on. Well, these men are so well trained, uh, so such great athletes that even a hard punch like that, they can recuperate very fast from that. Both now looking for the opening, eyeing each other. Hard kicks there, faint with the leg. And following up with the right punch by Lo and Yu. Copain is pushing a bit more, going forward. Lo and Yu would do well not to let this happen too often, too much. Both have uh, enough power in their hands and legs to go for a KO. Well, it's quite surprising to see that uh, Loa New is also trying to go for the liver of uh, Brook Benito Copa. Maybe a good tactic. Of course, no, normally it's Copa who does that. He's knocked out many with that punch. Very strong body punch, very precise, very fast. There by Low and You. Well, it's obvious they both have a lot of respect for each other's power. But Low and You is making the same mistake over and over again. He lets himself be pushed against the ropes in one of those corners. Uh, he shouldn't be there. Make sure he stays in the middle of the ring. Fighting a puncher like that, you don't want to be against the ropes. Hey. Definitely hey. not. End of round two. Now they eye each other in a rather hostile way. <laughs> Trainer Milton Felder giving his pupil some advice. Round three. 
Ryan Lowe and you in black, in black and yellow, that's Benito Copa. shouldn't do is let yourself be intimidated by a man like uh, with the power of Copa. Now against the ropes. Good left hook there. Wailing in there. They have to be very careful there because he's walking with his hands far away from his face. Standing eight count there. Now it didn't look that serious. Well, this fight continues. I think that Copa knew that Lower New wasn't really hurt. And therefore he's quite careful waiting there. His left hook is he's way open for a left hook. He's way oh there he goes. Just just wait. Brian Lower New going forward with his right hand almost at his hip. And then you're asking for trouble against a left hooker with the prowess of uh, Benito Copa. You see, whenever it's possible he throws the left hook. Low and you is wide open. Mouthpiece of Low and you was lost. Look at the right hand of Low and you is way too low. And a fighter, a technician like Copin, sees that coming. I kick that. We know the power of Copa, so the one you better keep his hands up. Stay there, don't. There's only one way you can go then. And forward. And there is Copain now reining in punches. Problems there for Brian Lowe and you. Who holds on for his dear life. Both hands grasping the midsection of the Benito Copain. Standing eight count. Well, Lowe and you looks disgusted. And that's something that he. Uh, can only blame himself. The towel is being thrown there by Milton Felter, and this is the winner. Hans Nijman, Hans Nijman, would like to give you a ring for the prize of the Vecht u in the middle of the ring. Dames en heren, de winnaar door opgave van deze Brito Copen. De winnaar Benito Copen. Keiharde strijd, en daarna weer sportief. En ze hoorden bij de topvechters en de topatleten. Graag ook een applaus voor de man die toch gekomen is voor het gevecht voor je Brian Loanju. Ik wil iedereen bedanken die in mijn beleef geloven, ondanks wat er werd gezegd. En ik dank Simon de Rus, dat hebben de kans heeft gegeven om hier te doen. Goed. Goed, veel succes. Benito, kom weer. Het is obvious, saying thank you to everybody who kept on believing in the capacities of Benito Copain, regardless of what some people said.